Welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Bucko, and you are fishing with Uncle Buck. And we're about to take on our next set of missions in Fishing Planet. We're headed over to Germany. We're going to take on Sander Bagasy Lake. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five missions to get completed over there. Three of which are the normal missions that we're going to do. We're going to do Exploration 1, we're going to do Exploration 2, and we're going to do a carp mission. And then we've got the drowned mice that we have to find in order so we can build a bait in order to catch the monster catfish, the black whisker. So, with that being said, now, this lake is, this lake is a tough lake. It's a very tough lake. The bite rate at this lake is very slow. Um, you got to have patience. You, it's going to be a grind. Um, yeah, you can have a boat. Uh, for the main body of the waterway, however, where all the carp are at, you can't get a boat up in there, so uh, you got to do a lot of walking, and there's a lot of walking to do. But we're going to take you through that in the first the first video here. We're going to do our tour. I'm going to take you through the tour, show you where everything's at, where I like to fish anyway, and then uh, we'll get started with these missions. We'll jump in there. The first mission, we're going to go after a lot of the smaller fish as normal, the panfish. The second mission, we're going after the bigger fish over there and then of course the third mission is all the pike or the, the carp all right with that being said let's jump down there we'll get on the boat here and we're going to take a quick run around this lake and i'm going to point out some of the good features to you so let's jump down let's get to the dock let's go fishing now this lake it's tough to see all the time it's mostly overcast um that pole away buck we're not doing any fishing right now all right as you can see this is pretty much a normal day here um it's always overcast or cloudy and when the sun does shine there's a lot of glare on this lake a lot it's tough to see um, i'd highly recommend getting yourself a pair of sunglasses i know they cost some money in this game but you really it really does make a difference all right anyway we're down here on the southern docks i guess i should let's take a look here at the map real quick guys here's our lake this is what we've got <clears throat> down here is the southern docks where and, and out here in the middle there's a deep hole out here you can catch some big catfish um you can catch the xander out here now along this edge along here if we could jump over to the sunrise fishing down here anywhere basically spawn in here with your flipping stick a little seven and a half pounder that's what we're going to do and just walk yourself along these reeds towards the docks and you'll catch all the all the fish in the first mission and then in the second mission you're going after the xander and the wells cat you can stay down here and we'll do that we'll grab them right out of the middle here now the boat's only good for this main waterway up through here now you have to spawn in, or like I do, I just, I go from here and I drive my boat up to, right up to here and jump out. And then you can walk all through this and we'll take, we'll take that tour. And I'll show you, this is where all the big carp live, in here. But you gotta have patience, fellas. You gotta have patience fishing this lake. If you're in a hurry, you're gonna be very frustrated. Very frustrated here. Um, as far as the dead mice go, anywhere down in here, you're going to catch them i have a specific marker where there's a ton of them in here but they kind of fool you with this they you know you think that it's like the selenge river one where you're going to walk around and find these dead mice laying along the shoals and the grasses and that's not the case you got to be snagging them you got to snag them anyway we'll talk about that when we get there so let's go back let's get buck in the in the boat here there we go all right what we're going to do is we're going to make this a quick run i'm going to start down here in the bottom we'll go ahead and take a look now you can walk if you spawn in there at the dock you can walk all the way along here to a certain point. It lets you get pretty far over here. 
and there's some really good spots over here. Um, to, I'll show you some markers here a little bit. Get down to this side. Now this is what I was trying to. You know me, guys. I only mark big fish. Well, units and trophies. If you get down along here, this is where you want to get your tensions. That's what we're looking at there. You got a uni tench and a trophy tench. Right in that spot there. Flipping semolina balls in there. That'll do you just fine. And you'll be able to grab that tent up. Alright, let's get fired up here. And... But let's loosen the anchor bust and we might be able to get somewhere. Alright, so let's zip through here real quick. And you can walk all along this storm, fellas. Not a problem there. I think my boat's a little bit loud. I'm gonna turn down. Alright, hopefully we've got our engine. Sounds damn loud now. We'll see. Alright, let's get a move on here. Hopefully that's not too loud. Okay guys, <clears throat> so you can walk a little bit down here, but not Fairly decent. It's uh, you can get all the way down through here. Get into a lot of these openings down here. Now, as far as the dead, catching the dead mites for the monster fish, you want to do that down in this area right here. Now, I have one spot that I really like. I, I caught four of them already. I'm saving one for the video. But you can back in, like right into there, that spot there. Throw through both of these lily pads in here, and you should be able to grab a couple of mice up there. They are, they are rather abundant once you hit them. They're, they're not real hard to, not real hard to, uh, to grab once you know where they're at. Now, where I catch them is right here. Where I caught four of them, I'm going to go grab one more. that bush right there sticking in the water I just used a regular old <clears throat> I think I got my River Tech Zeus with me and I put a crankbait on there and threw right into that weeds and I pulled four of them out right away all right that's mosey on up the river all right let's let's head up towards the new that's where it's again get your sander and your catfish down here we're gonna head up to the new plant now if you want to fish anywhere along these docks and all you can't get over there you have to do it from your boat but there's some good fish in there like I said you got to be patient on this part you got to be patient all right so we'll head A lot of boys around in the area down through here. So, you know, you can always catch fish around them. Complicate around them, please. Now, where we're headed to right now, <clears throat> this is if you would spawn into Stillwater Village. That's where we're at just about now. You can get some carp up in here. Not my favorite place for carp, but they can be caught here. And again, a lot of cover, a lot of weed, a lot of shoreline here. So if you got, you got your panfish all over the place. Get them fishing carp. Got 
on the frames. And you can, that's normally where I come in with the boat. I just jump right up in there and you can jump out of store and then start walking all the way around the lake and the lake and all the waterways up to the top there. It's a lot of walk. All right, let's zip around. I want to get up on a new plan. I want to show you where I'm up with the Babanese Northern Pike and where we can get the Xander. The Xander's in the Bavarian woods. So there's a couple of nice peninsulas up here. I've got picnic tables out if you get tired or hungry, bring your cooler. <laughs> Don't forget these coats. That's another thing. Don't leave these coves unattended. Your big fish, especially if the weather's a little bit not to their liking, they'll be in them coves lurking. It's worth no passing by. Anytime you see a tree falling over water, it'll be fish right there. Catch fish under those leaves. Now when you get up in here, like I said, you can't get a boat across there because all these little gaps, they have little wooden bridges that you can, you can get across. Piece of water, what that is, what looks like the sun's about to break through a little bit, that would be nice. top over there. Good Northern Pike up through there. All up through that little river way there. Catch the body of Northern. Alright, let's zip over here to the very wood. So they want to get that get that eel. That's our spot right there. And I'll give you the coordinates. One seventy nine eighty five eight seventy seven seventeen. That's him. Now, if you spawn in into the very wood, you walk. There's a little bush. You walk to the right. There's a little bush right here. Turn left. Throw straight out to that marker. Wait an hour. 
<laughs> right. There's the way you spawn in, right there. And you're gonna throw straight out to here. And go to sleep for an hour. This is a good bottom rod. I caught mine on shrimp. Alright guys, let's go ahead now and get over to where to cart. Get your anchor buck. Still left. Righty. So we're gonna step down there. We could go in right here. You can start walking from here. I like to fish off of that dock right there. Nice cooler air, keep that cooler full of beer for me, fellas. I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna sit down now. I want to show you guys how you, where I, I feel it's the easiest way to go about this. That's um, back down in still water. So rather than waste some time here, I'm gonna zip us down to still water and I'll pick you up in a minute. here. We're at came in at Stillwater Village. We're out here on this side here. That's where we're at. You can walk all this like I said there, there, there's a lot of storm. A lot of storm. across each one, boom, boom. You can walk through here and down to here. You can't walk too far this way. You can walk along this edge. You can cover. You can cover all this way. Uh, now, the place that I like, so rather than walk around everywhere, I'm just going to show you some of the, some of the highlighted spots here to go. Here, go fishing. Oh my goodness. Alright, hang on guys, let me go get a license, I just quit bothering me. Alright, we're better now. Uh-oh, and got my boat. So, this is basically where it puts you in at. Take a walk down here because this is one of the spots. They got these little docks here all along here. Lots of huge and evil carp. This is a spot I like to set up shop in here. So right out into the middle, and you're gonna catch. Uh, <clears throat> you're gonna get your common, your grass, mirror out of here. Yep, good spot for them there. All right, let's look up through here. 
wish this guy could actually run. So, we're going to walk down here. There's a double dock down here. Not too shabby here. Get here kind of in front of this eye. There we go. You see the little, see the little house out there. There's a double dock here. Touch the rod and spread them out. Put your rod stand down. We'll grab carpet here. All right. Okay guys, this was the quickest way I could do it. I just did all the walking myself. I made a point right now. Let me pull my map up. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at. This is still water spawn in. This is lake within the lake. Spawn in, go to your right. Walk down until you come to this clearing right here. That's where I'm sitting right now with the fork in the road. And we're gonna just head left. So you stay left. What you want to do is you want to go um, lake in the lake. You want to when you when you spawn there, you want to head towards you want to head towards the new plant. So you, you'll come here. You get another another spawn section right there. But a Y split, and you just want to walk down here. See these picnic tables? I'm gonna cut across there and head towards the gazebo. Right here she be. This is where you want to be. You see straight out in front. We've got one, two, three, four sets of greens. I put a rod stand down here, put one pole in front of each set of reeds, or out there as far as you can get them, towards the reeds, one in your hand, and you'll catch all the carp. Everything you need for the carp machine right here. So, where are we at? We are right here on that point. That's where we're at. That's the island, and the reeds are right over along here. You just throw right against these reeds, and you'll have all, all your carp. All right, guys. Well, that pretty much covers Sanger Bagger Sea Lake. And if you hit these spots, have some patience you'll get this all these missions accomplished without any issues all right guys i hope that helped you out a lot if it did even if it didn't hit the like button anyway you know give me a subscribe if you did like it we got more to come hey thanks a lot for fisking with uncle buck and we'll see you next time remember tight lines and never ever give up that fight we'll see you later Listen to the critics say They're out of love and all change Listen